Okay, so I feel it's important to state the obvious about the new update that came out. So what I've done so far is that I've taken a look at the update and I have worked it out. And here's what I find from the update so far. Okay, folks, welcome back to Musical Kinetics. And this is a very quick update we have coming in here. So GoPro recently, they literally just released a firmware update and they call it GoPro, GoPro Labs. And what it is, is that you can have a lot more functionality through a QR code scanner. Let me just pull it up on my phone so you can have an idea of what it is. Um, the link to the website is on there. So let me just go to a simple... Okay, I don't really want my GoPro to see the code. So this is, this is gonna be tricky. So how do I show a code without the GoPro seeing the code? Okay, let me just use a, a basic code, like um, the date and time setting. Cause, so this is what it looks like. So the GoPro sees this, it clicks on it, and it automatically sets to the setting that's on the QR code scanner. Again, the link is already in the descriptions below. And what this does is that the GoPro gets some extra boost of functionality. Now, I have some upsides and downsides already with this thing. I've used it for a few hours, and I've still not yet mastered it by no means, but I'm still gonna be working on it for the next few days and see what happens. First of all, is that it actually has this antiquated look on the GoPro. I put in the setting where I could put in my name and my phone number in case my GoPro, something happened to it and I could always see my, my information pop up. The second thing is that when it pops up, it's cool and all, but sometimes like I tried setting the sunrise sunset setting and what happened was that I got the GPS to lock my phone. So I tried setting up a uh, night lapse where I was able to set my camera check out the GPS coordinates in the skies and check for the sunset. So the sunset points somewhere over there in that direction. And the only challenge I had was that it locked the GPS coordinates and it set it to 6.30 p.m. for sunset. But I could not remove the setting while I was recording. So I had to like cancel the presets before I could do anything else on the camera. It just kept shutting the camera down. And it told me everything but it told me I had to go into night lapse myself and set up the um, setting for night lapse, which is good and all. So I would have gone in, done that, and everything would have been cool and all. But here's the here's the crazy part of what happened. Whenever I turn on my GoPro, it doesn't go to my regular settings. Like it doesn't go to like videos. It goes straight to night lapse. And anytime I click that quick time it doesn't work anymore so I'm probably gonna go into the settings trying to change that to see if that can work but it's kind of scary when you try a new code and what what exactly happens is that it doesn't it does something really weird what it does is that it just takes over your, your device and you're like oh my gosh is there like a stop code to stop this code from being activated you can actually try it take a look try this code on your on your device and see what pops up I'm guessing this is gonna be the time, and it's probably the time I shot the video, but <laughs> it'll be nice to see what you see at that point in time. But what happens is that there's a stop, if you put off the, if you put on the power button, it stops this code from being activated. So I don't wanna go into a full depth review about what this means for the market. I just wanna be very precise and very quickly so you can have precision date and time. You can customize QR codes, like we said, extra long time lapses. The only problem with this long time lapses it has is that the time lapses are no longer videos. The time lapses are photos. I tried it and oh my gosh, I got some wide photos, 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 but I don't really want to deal with editing all that together. I guess the way to go around that is to simply just, uh, just, time lasts regularly and keep changing the battery as you go along. But if you have a time lapse that's gonna last a whole day or so, and you wanna do it on just one battery, that those photo time lapse is like a, it's a bomb option. One thing to note, once you set up a function here, not like a date of course, but like a time, a time recording or something, you can't really do other things on the camera while this timing is set up. So it's best to like do whatever projects you have to do for the day first, and then before you go on, set this thing and leave the camera there to do as it pleases. So time lapse, sunrise, sunset, motion detection, which is cool. Um, the motion detection is like it perceives people moving across them and it starts recording. I mean, you miss a few frames, but still it could be useful for like project, outdoor projects where people are working and they go on a break and they come back. But again, time lapse could also do that too. 
So, um, video burning overlay. Now, I'm scared to use that video burning overlay. This is why I'm scared to use it because if I burn in to my videos, how do I burn them out? You catch my drift. So, I think there's a power, you can click the power button to remove that layer, but I'm not going to try it until I know for sure that it works and the cancel features are already there. So you can also the file names too, which is also a good thing. So I think this is going to build a community where people are facing coding a bit more, QR coding, and there's going to be like a community where people come together and make these codes, make things work online, and then they create new solutions. Because like the time lapse setting for Sunrise Sunset isn't complete yet. You can only set the timing on the GoPro. I'm actually recording on the GoPro. All the audio is coming through the GoPro right now after the update. So that doesn't really change the quality that you get from the GoPro. It just helps the settings in a way. But that here. So that's where we are right now with the GoPro updates. And I think it's going to get better in the future. But my only skepticality right now is I don't have, there's no QR code to stop whatever function you just put in. You have to just hope that that power button pops up on the screen and gives you the option, hey, you want to cancel this setting? And then it goes there. So that's where we are right now with the GoPro's new update. And thanks for watching.